Hey, what's going on guys? Brian with Men's Comics. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my picks for comic books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night. That's right, it is last call, three weeks before release, with enough time for you to get those pre-orders in, secure your copies, so that way you're not left wanting or going out there trying to having to do that Wednesday Warrior and trying to secure your copies of these books. If this is your first time on this channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related content, so please consider subscribing. With that being said, let's dive right into it. Starting with the first one from Image Comics, we get Deep Beyond number one. This is written by Mirka Andolfo. She's written quite a few books. A lot of people still know her for her art, but she's a great writer nonetheless. This is another sci-fi thriller, a apocalypse type book. I know we've kind of waned on some of those apocalypse stories. This one I'm actually really looking forward to. A bunch of great covers for it. You have some regular price variants as well as some incentive variants. I know a lot of people are going to go after that Peach Momoko cover. I, of course, think my favorite cover on this one is that Sychik cover. I probably said that name wrong because I butcher artist names all the time and I apologize, but I love that art and that's the one I'm going to be pre-ordering. And then for Marvel, we've been talking about how hot those Star Wars comics are right now. And High Republic just released this past week with issue number one. Well, we got number two hitting Final Order Cutoff. This also has a 1 in 25 incentive rate from Ashley Witter. Another fantastic artist, so that's one to be on the lookout for. But that's not the only High Republic comic series we have hitting Final Order Cutoff this week. From IDW, we also get that Star Wars High Republic Adventures number one. Those, Star those IDW Star Wars issues that have been considered all ages, but we always talk about how just because it says all ages does not mean that there's great stories in there. This is another one that I'm excited to pick up. And I'm sure it's not going to go as under the radar as a lot of these books normally do as well. Well, since Star Wars books have gotten so much attention lately. But just in case you weren't aware, this is hitting Final Order Cut Off Monday. And it also has a great 1 in 10 incentive variant for it. I don't know how big the print run will be on this, but those 1 in 10s are usually worth picking up. Sticking with IDW and getting over to the Ninja Turtles. It seems like it's been a while since issue number one was released. We're getting that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles last Ronin issue number two. That's right, it was bad enough. We had to wait for the delay of the actual first issue. They had to redo the interior art on it. But we're getting issue number two, hit and final order cutoff. It as well has that awesome one in 10 incentive variant. So make sure you get your orders in as I'm sure those will sell out. Getting back over to Marvel for a minute. That's right, we're getting a new Spider-Man series. This is nonstop Spider-Man number one. This is gonna be a mini series, but it's written by artist Joe Kelly, who's also written Deadpool and Action Comic. We got a mystery at the Empire State Building that thrusts Spider-Man into a new adventure. And it's saying it's giving us Marvel villains of old and new. So I don't know if we're getting some new Spider-Man villains out of this series. But either way, I kind of more of the Miles Morales fan. But I'm always anxious to pick up these new series to see if they're any better than the ongoing. But to be honest... The ongoing has caught some heat lately as well. From DC Comics, we also get Future State Wonder Woman. Out of all the Future State titles that have released so far, it seems like that Yara Floor Wonder Woman has gotten the most heat. We got issue number two, hitting FOC. Got that great Joel Jones cover A, but I do like that Jenny Friesen cover B on this. If you read issue number one of Future State Wonder Woman, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I read it, I actually really enjoyed it. It seems like a lot of other comic fans have enjoyed it as well, but I'm anxious to hear what you guys think. So here's something a little different. It's not just a regular issue, but from Image Comics, we're also getting that spawn. We're getting it in full color. We're getting that compendium volume one. This is gonna collect issues one through 50. A lot of spawn fans out there that of course they like to collect their single issues or as we refer to them as floppies. But if you wanna read, for 50 issues and in full color, this is one that you want to be picking up. This is released in February 24th, and it's worth pre-ordering because a lot of times pre-ordering stuff like that, you get a pretty decent discount. Which that brings us to the indie showcase portion of this show. We always talk on this channel how much love indie comics and who else loves indie comics but the sponsor of this show, and that is BlackCapeComics.com. That's right, if you go there, you can pre-order all the books to talk about in this video and get yourself a pretty nice discount in the process and secure your copies. But BlackCapeComics.com, huge fan of indies, and kicking off the indie showcase this week, we get Fear Case number one. That's right, this is from Dark Horse Comics. It's a four-issue miniseries, but it's written by Matt Kent with art by Tyler Jenkins. Matt Kent is great at writing those dark mystery thriller comics. This one seems to be right in his swim lane. That's right, we get a secret agent that discovers an unknown mystery box named the Fear Case. And what's so crazy about this Fear Case? It has shown up through history at sites of disaster. And the thing is, is once you discover it, you have to pass it on within three days or face deadly consequences. The solicitor alone has me excited for it, but as soon as I read it was written by Matt Kent, I was definitely pre-ordering it. The next one we have in the indie showcase this week is Canto 2 Holloman issue number five. This is actually the last issue in this current volume. There's plenty more Canto ahead of us. We've seen that if you follow David Boo or Drew Zucker on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere on social media, 
excited about more Cantor stories to be told, but here we are finishing up this final volume. And if you haven't been reading this, definitely suggest you do so. And if you don't order this one and you want to get caught up, they just released, or they just released a solicit for the, the trade paperback for this volume as well. So you can pre-order that. And I highly suggest you do because Canto is one of the best stories that we talked about it plenty of times on this channel, whether you're a kid, whether you're an adult, everyone's good. Everyone seems to enjoy it. And that's why it's definitely in the showcase this week. The next one we have is from AWA Upshot and we get redemption number one. I like AWA Upshot because they have multiple series that span multiple genres. And this one looks to be a Western, almost kind of sci-fi. I want to say Westworld, but here we have a post-apocalyptic town that is controlled by one person. And it also controls the number one resource, which is water. And we get a young woman's mother marked for death. In order to save her mother, she goes and seeks out the gunslinger known as the Butcher, which has been retired. But the thing is, will the gunslinger join in the fight or just sit on the sidelines? And what's more exciting about it is, it's a female protagonist. That gunslinger, that Butcher, is a female. I love these female driven character stories, especially one that's called The Butcher. So this is one I'm definitely looking forward to picking up. And if you're a fan of Boom Studios Faithless, we get another great series called Luna Number One. Kind of reminds me of Faithless in its sense, but only just because both of them are gonna have secret blood rituals. This series Luna actually takes place in the 60s with the hippie cult. I'm not making that up. It's in the solicit. <laughs> so take for what you will. We're gonna have blood rituals. We're gonna have sex and we're gonna have powerful drugs. Looks like a series a lot of people would be interested to read. It also has a fantastic Jenny Friesen variant for it. Now, Luna might be the one that most people are probably excited for Final for Final Art Cutoff from Boom Studios, but I'm actually more excited for this next one, and we're talking about Spectre and Spectres. This is gonna be a five-issue miniseries. Looks to be catered towards the younger demographic, but I tend to like those stories like Folklords and Wind. The Last Witch that just came out, fantastic first issue. I'm really excited about that one. This one seems to fit right in there, especially me being an 80s kid. It kind of reminds me of Scooby-Doo and the Scooby-Doo mysteries that we have like a, a haunting detection agency. But the great thing about this, talked about that book written by Merkin and Dolfo earlier. This book actually has a fantastic 1 in 25 incentive variant by Merkin and Dolfo, and that cover is absolutely gorgeous. And that's going to wrap up the Indie Showcase. Again, brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Like I said, all the books we've talked about in this video, you can go to blackcapecomics.com, pre-order those and others that are hitting Final Cutoff and save that discount. But we do have a few additional printings and we're going to talk about those right now. Amazing Spider-Man number 55 that just came out, that Gleason cover got a lot of heat. We have a second print variant for that and it's going to be the same art, with, instead of that black cover, we get a fantastic red cover that's already gotten a lot of heat around social media and online, a bunch of websites as well as other YouTube videos. And I also told you how much I enjoyed Last Witch number one. Well, we get Last Witch number one hitting a second print as well. And then lastly, we also have Future State Wonder Woman number one getting a second print for that. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for books that I haven't found order to cut off this Monday night, a little bit earlier for DC Comics. Gotta make sure we always say that in there. But let me know in the comments, are you gonna pre-order any of these? Are there any other books that you saw that are hitting Final Order Cut Off that you're excited about? And with that being said, this is Brian from Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.